assign some so much value that like a student uh, A, I have assigned some value, some courses and student C and student D. But once I am going to select that, if I select, if I select that student C, it will be auto checked, which I have already assigned. So just like if you open that uh, database, that course db could go to the table and the here open the, this table. So you can see that I have assigned that like a student ID 1, I have assigned this course a student ID 2, I have assigned 3, I have assigned 4, I have assigned. But once I am going to select this one just like a student B, so it should be checked which I have already assigned. So let's see, let's close that one. Going to create one action method just like a public. This one will be the JSON result and uh, get assign courses okay so here i am going to pass that your student id okay this i am going to pass so this one we can make the http course because i will pass as a data so it will be return json so json will be the new data equal to dot student courses dot where model model dot student id equal to equal to student id right and it will return then our last step after that it will be json dot allow get okay that's all it will become into the bridge this one and here it should close okay now it's okay so get assigned courses now if you will open the index.cshtml here I have to write open that what's the your drop down list name drop down list okay this one so I have given that dd student so I have to call as a change event here just it will be called just has this dot change change event that function and like this first I'm going to check that one its value is coming correct or not so it will be the dollar that ID selector that has so DD student dot value so let's check first this one if i'm once i'm changing that uh, drop down list I'm, i'll get value or not run the application now if i'm going to select that uh, student b now you're getting that i'm getting that two id two student c three and student d it's a four id four okay now next uh, create one function that function to get the same now I'm going to give that one get assigned courses get assigned courses and here it will be the where the student ID. otherwise no need to require this one so just copy this one delete this one and this one will be here and now where student id equal to this we are getting the student id now i'm going to call dollar dot ajax function and here async true type post data type it will be the json Okay, and uh, content type, content type will call to application as JSON as set equal to UTF that's 8. Okay, next that URL, URL will be the home slash your Excel method get assigned this and then 
then data data is equal to I'm going to write like a JSON dot string if I and in that one uh, I'm going to write a student ID that is student ID this value will become dot that column this is student ID okay then success success it will be the function of data okay and then error it will be function and then alert message there is some problem to process your request that's all now you get the data here you are getting data here so first of all need to make a, a for each loop like this just copy this one otherwise make one function here set checked and unchecked checked and unchecked okay unchecked your courses here it will be the where that data this one be the data only. now make a for list for loop first of all what I will do I will uncheck all first one it will be unchecked all so this way you can uncheck all those checkbox because first I'm going to check that one if it's a check someone then make it unchecked now I'm going to check it again so make a for each loops like a dollar dot each H. so it's the same like this then write the function ok this one <coughs> now where course id equal to dollar dot this dot value so this one is that like this if you open the this room so this one I am getting that first I am getting the this value and matching with the what I have assigned for that student so that one first I got that this value like a first uh, in the first index it will be get the C sharp so I, have, I will check with that student D it's uh, assigned or not so come to the here again dollar dot h function so this your data where is where you are getting that one function this data so this dot dot data so it will be the function why once again why we have done like a write like a data dot data because first data is this one your what you are getting just like here if you look then with this data and in the home control I am assigning the data so if you want to get this value so you have to call, call data dot data means like if I am going to change with that uh, um, get data like this if I am going to change get get data so it will be that like get data dot data it will be like that okay so it's going to be for each loop so after that I want to take that value so I'm so it will be the variable it will be that uh, your course ID okay so this one course ID and here I'm going to write assigned course ID so what will be the assigned course ID that will be the your here I have to write like an index and then da so it will be the da dot your course id it will be like that that course id or oh, not list of course id course id just like open the table and this course id you have to take this one ok da dot course id now here need to match that this course id 
equal to equal to this course id okay if it will be match then we set set that value so how you will set this dot check that value so this one we need to change it will be the true one more thing because this one this particular keyword will point of this one this particular each function okay so what i will do i will create that pair course data equal to dollar dot dollar this so means this one will point this loop okay so i am assigning to the course data and course data will be set to that this particular properties okay now it will be the true once it will be match it will be the true and this one going to call here in the success function and assign the data save it check one by one first once you will get get the data it will start from here i am getting that one student id okay so that ajax call i am doing so seeing type post data type json content type all those things and home that get assigned courses so it will come here and it will get once you will pass that course id that is student id so you will get that all those courses which already you have assigned okay now if you will come here now you are getting the data here so this data you have pass in that one function first i am resetting that all those check box it will be that uh, unchecked and uh, now if, if it will be match that particular course id will match so it will be then it will be the checked save and reload again now assign to the c i can see android and html now if i assign to d you can see c sharp mvc and jquery if i assign to b you can see if i assign to a you can see it's already checked now if i assign to a assign to b see all are and first i will just doing the uncheck then here it's a it's matching then it's doing the check b if we're going to assign this all click on save data successfully added click on okay now again if you go to some see you can see the value all the now if we're going to with do d so first so i'm uncheck this one sql angular and python i'm going to check this are mvc jquery android html sql server angular and python i have checked click on save data successfully added click on okay now again you are going to see you can see all those are checked okay so what we have done it's not so much logic here only i am passing that is student id and getting that the particular courses okay once i am getting the courses i am first time resetting then here i am matching again i am uh, doing that for each loop means like each loop in jquery you can say the each loop and then if i am matching if it match then as making that true okay. i hope it's clear thanks for watching